guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a review and swatch video on the Tarte Lippy Lingerie Matte Tints. Now when I was shopping on the Tarte website, I literally could find no swatches of these. So I was like, you know what, Laura, I'm going to buy a few and I'm going to do a swatch video just so I can help you guys out. Um, so far on the Tarte website, these have got a three and a half or not even three and a half star rating. Um, and that's based on six people's reviews. I haven't read their reviews because I don't want it to persuade what I think of the lip the lippy stick things. I don't really know what to call them, like jumbo pencils. Basically, they come in gorgeous packaging like this. Tarte's packaging is always gorgeous and purple. Um, and I did get six shades. There are eight in the line, and I'm kicking myself that I didn't just get the other two. Like, why didn't I do that? I don't know. As with most of Tarte's products, I don't know if Tarte is 100% cruelty-free, but these definitely are. They do have the bunny on them. And then they do have mineral pigment, mango, murmur, I don't really know how to pronounce that. Um, they've also got this other one that I can't pronounce as well as vitamin E, which I think is really, really good. They don't really have much of a description elsewhere on the box, so I guess we'll just get into the swatching. So I just want to quickly say with the packaging, I think the packaging is gorgeous. Um, you can kind of see a resemblance of the color based on the color of the giant pencil itself, and they do have the most gorgeous gold lid as well. And then they've got lippy lingerie written on them there. And then they also have the shade printed on the packaging as well. So I'm going to start off with this shade. This one is called Pure. These do twist up and twist down as well, which is really good. So this one is Pure. I have nothing on my lips at the moment. These do have a peppermint smell to them, as do most Tarte lip products I find. I've only tried a few, but the ones that I have tried, they do have that scent to them. So this one here is in the shade Pure. I really, really like this one. This one is definitely a more mauve pink. So I am just swatching it on my hand for you so you can see what it's like swatched on my arm. So that's the shade there. It's a really, really gorgeous, just very, very feminine pink. I really, really like it. They are very, very comfortable on the lips. They aren't matte as in drying matte, but they don't have any shimmer or sparkle to them. In terms of the name matte tint, I understand where the matte is coming from, but they're not a tint by any means. But for me personally, I do like that because I don't really like sheer lipsticks. They are so comfortable on the lips. Like when you do this, it just feels so hydrating. The next shade that I'm going to try on is the shade Revealed, which is this one here. So this one is more of a brown shade, but it's still absolutely gorgeous. What I'm going to do is I'm going to swatch it on my hand as well. So as you can see, it does glide on gorgeously, like super, super pigmented and super, super creamy as well. I do feel like it doesn't really go with what I have on, but as a lip color itself, it is really, really gorgeous. And again, that one is in the shade Revealed. Okay, so the next shade that I have to show you is in the shade Undressed. It looks like this. This is a gorgeous, like brownie, darker nude shade, which I really, really enjoy. It probably doesn't go very, very well with what I have on right now, but it is a really, really gorgeous tone of lipstick. At least I would class these as lipsticks. I wouldn't class them as like tints at all because they do provide full pigment. That's it swatched there. Okay, the next color I'm gonna try is called Exposed. Every time Tarte comes out with a product called Exposed, I need it. Like they just make that shade so well like it's such a natural barely there shade and that's what i expect from this one as well it's a gorgeous like lighter one i think this is the lightest out of all of them that i have so let's give this a go these go on so smooth you guys have no idea Seriously, it's absolutely gorgeous. I will swatch it for you guys on my hand as well. And they are so ridiculously moisturizing. Like, I just cannot get over that. So I'm going to go in with the next shade, which is called Whisper, which looks like this. This is what the packaging looks like. That's what it looks like in the bullet. I feel like this is going to be a bit more peachy than the last one. Oh my God, I think this one is my favorite one. Like, I'm actually not even kidding. This one's gorgeous. Excuse the really, really, really bad application absolutely gorgeous i love this one let's see how it swatches so i'm just going to give you guys a quick swatch it's very very similar to exposed but it's just a slight bit more pinky which i did not expect but it's gorgeous like i love this one probably as much as i love exposed i do want to quickly mention that these matte tints are not accentuating any of my lines in my lips like they're not making them any bigger they just look how they would normally with no lipstick on 
um, and then also they aren't clinging to the dry patches on my lips which I really, really like. <laughs> okay, lucky last shade that I own. This one is called Racy. It looks like this. This is probably the darkest one out of them all, which is why I left it for last. This one's definitely the darkest of them all, but it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna swatch it for you as well. So it's definitely the darkest of them all. Like they all kind of look the same and then you just got bam in your face. <laughs> Even though it is a dark color, it's not drying at all. And it didn't apply patchy either. Like it was very, very easy to apply, very, very comfortable. And because it isn't a pencil, you didn't even, like I didn't need to line my lips. And I don't feel like I did that crummy of an application either. And I just didn't realize that I had a whole like smudge down there. Okay, so overall, I'd like to just say that I really, really like how they all apply to the lips. The the formula does seem to be very, very consistent in terms of texture and consistency. Like they all have a very, very thin yet pigmented texture to them. Like every one of them, I could do this, like rub my lips together for ages. Like it feels so nice, like so buttery, so creamy, so smooth, so soft. I love it. My lips don't feel dry when I use these. It's really, really nice. Like the texture is really, really good. I honestly do not know why people are rating it so badly. If you want a sheer lip product, this is definitely not for you. This is if you want full impact of matte, but you don't want to have a dry matte finish. You want to have like, it still has some gloss to it, but not too glossy, if that makes sense. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna read those reviews and see what people say. Okay, I think a lot of people are just wanting sheer lip colors and that's why they're rating it so poorly because I am reading the reviews on Tarte.com and a lot of people are saying if you want full color pigment, get this, but they didn't want that and that's why they rated it badly. And that's what I think as well. If you want a full pigment lip product, definitely give these a try, especially if you want more of the neutrals family. But if you do want a sheer tint of color, this is not for you. This is not a balm. It's not a tint. It's definitely like a lipstick, just in a chubby stick form. These do actually remind me of the Revlon Colorburst Matte Balms. Do you guys remember those? I really, really like them personally. I think that the formula is great. The pigmentation is great. The color variety is awesome. I wish they had a red, but I understand why they don't. Overall, I'm super impressed. I do like them. They do swatch amazingly as well. Like, they just swatch amazingly. I really, really like it. I'll definitely consider buying the other two maybe. I feel like these are gorgeous lip products. They are more of a satin nature, not so much a matte. Um, like for example, Ruby Woo from MAC. They're more like a satin finish, which I love. They are so comfortable, so easy to apply. They're so moisturizing. They're honestly beautiful on the lips. I can't talk about longevity, but to be honest, as long as a product is moisturizing, I don't mind if I have to reapply it. I only mind longevity if it is a drying or it does dry product. Honestly, these lipsticks are so easy to apply. Now, I must agree with what the reviews are saying about how they're not sheer by any means, but they don't claim to be sheer. They're only called matte tints, which I feel like it does give your lips a matte tint or a satin tint, I should say. But overall, they are really, really good. They're very, very hydrating. The price point is quite good at $27 a piece, Australian, which I think is very, very good and very, very comparable to some drugstore products. Like L'Oreal lipsticks are $22.95, I'm pretty sure. So overall, I think that these lipsticks are great. The colors are beautiful. I must say that the colors are limited to quite to these like nude neutral shades. They're more limited to that like neutral tone, but overall like the formula is bomb, it's consistent, and I really, really like them. I would say if you're wanting to try one or two, definitely give it a go. They are definitely worth a try. I would not recommend something to you guys that I wouldn't go out and buy like a hundred of. Like, you know what I mean? Like I would constantly repurchase these over and over again if I was running low because they honestly feel so nice on the lips, especially for everyday wear. Overall, that's all I have to say. I really, really like them. I'm going to consider buying the other two if they are lighter. If they are darker, I'm probably going to pass on them. But if they're lighter shades, I'm definitely going to pick them up because these are gorgeous. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time.